Grace had this incredible, elaborate, intense set of connections. Every single person you meet thinks that Grace is their best friend. And it was a picture of how Grace relates to the world around her. Some people remembered her as a cheerleader that was into makeup. Some other people remembered her as this lesbian in a, in a motorcycle. Uh, everybody had a different story. I thought, this is a person who has lived every moment of her life fully, with no fear. She became a doctor just as AIDS hit San Francisco, so what a time for somebody with Grace's qualities to be there. When Grace was one of the founders of the AIDS ward at Laguna Honda Hospital, the skilled nursing facility for poor people in San Francisco. We are so pleased to honor Grace Daman for her pioneering work caring for individuals living with and dying from AIDS. With her gentle spirit, humility, and quiet devotion, she has provided compassionate care to thousands of people in crisis. Thank you, Grace. It's happened again. Another head-on crash on the Golden Gate Bridge. It was a massive collision with devastating consequences. The 60-year-old woman driving suffered major injuries and is in critical condition and may not make it. I get a phone call that there's been an accident. I mean, this one was like an atomic bomb. There was this whole conversation about whether or not to put a do not resuscitate order on her because they had found the brain bleeds at that point. The surgeon had written everything he'd done to Grace. All the internal organs were up in her left lung. They reinflated the lung, repaired the diaphragm rupture, and replaced her organs. I assumed she was dead. But Nan said, no, no, she's going to be, she's going to live. Peter, it's Fu calling. Grace is awake. I mean, really awake. She's talking. She's asking questions. She wants to know what happened to her. She's smiling. She's saying, you are my sunshine. Two verses. I'm serious. It's just a miracle. I hadn't heard of Grace's accident until it came up on my computer screen for a potential new patient, and I saw her name, and I thought, oh, I hope it's not the same Grace. And of course it was. Good. I just never had someone have nice. so many surgeries on so many joints of their body and so many bones broken. In Grace's case, there was nothing by the books. There's no PT book that was going to explain how to teach her to walk. You had to figure it out. It's the ultra marathon of rehab for this woman. And nothing seems to stop her. Hand on the walker. OK, let's try again. The obstacles that Grace has overcome are not necessarily your everyday obstacles. But the lessons are extremely valuable for those of us on all sides of the healing equation. It's not enough just to repair the physical. It's renegotiating a relationship with yourself, with your body, with your mind, with your spirit. I think I would have died early on if it weren't for my Zen practice. I learned that nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts for very long at all, including great pain, great sorrow, great helplessness. Nothing lasts forever. Bowing is a very specific exercise that we do, and my hands can't get together anymore. One, two, three. This is the only time I have for rehab, and that's going to determine what I can do in the future. I love being a doctor, but I've got some work to do before I could go back 
to take care of more people. She's one of these people that when you meet her and you're, when you're with her, you genuinely think of people that just want to be of service to others. She gets extraordinary care from her community because every single person who touches her feels touched by her and they come back for more. Thank you. Thank you. Grace is back and she's not the same Grace that left home that day. She's finding out who she is that's back. Not the same grace that she knew either. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Go down okay. Goodbye, All goodbye. Right. Who am I really now? Who do I want to be now? How I will negotiate a new body and a new way of being. Those are two huge things to negotiate. We'll see.